1964, the Urban Action Foundation, a nonprofit organization formed to launch urban renewal in downtown Oklahoma City, contracted with world-renowned architect I.M. Pei to develop a plan for the future of downtown Oklahoma City. He, too, turned to film to sell his plan. Like many cities, Oklahoma City is showing the risk disease called blight, which, like a deadly mold, is settling over downtown and killing it. The symptoms of the disease are everywhere, in obsolete structures, worn out hotels and apartments, junkyards at the edge of downtown, and low-grade businesses in much of its center. Fewer people come here anymore, and sales are dropping. Business costs are going up, and many merchants have thrown up their hands in disgust and moved out. And as the 1950 bond issue did, the pay film had a call to action, though not a bond issue. The Urban Action Foundation was trying to build support for the plan. Pay called for tearing down hundreds of buildings and creating dozens of high-rise office buildings, an enclosed shopping mall, and apartments around the downtown area. And in company with such traditions, surely Oklahoma City's 75-year-old downtown is too young to die. It's up to you. In the end, the 1950 bond issue passed, and Sylvan Goldman produced another film, this one, to show the voters what they were getting for their money. You should be proud to be a stockholder in this clean, still-growing, still improving Oklahoma City. Please remember, you get more in actual services from the five cents you pay out for city government than you get out of the remainder of the tax dollar you spend. By the 1980s, the pay plan never generated the interest needed for it to take shape. All that was left was a large model of what pay thought downtown Oklahoma City would look like by 1989. That model is today considered the forerunner of the MAPS projects that have changed the landscape of downtown Oklahoma City. You can learn more about the urban histories of Oklahoma City and Tulsa by visiting the Oklahoma History Center, Northeast 23rd, just east of the state capitol in Oklahoma City. Thank you. The question, can I help you, is a question that millions of people ask millions of other people every single day. What does it actually mean to help another human being, or indeed to help an entire community? I believe that helping is a powerful and often beautiful human impulse. But I also believe that helping has a shadow side that certain styles or forms of helping are actually doing more harm than good. Rosabeth Moss Cantor, the Harvard academic, puts it beautifully when she says that when we do change to people, they experience it as violence. But when people do change for themselves, they experience it as liberation. But when people do change for themselves, they experience it as liberation. They experience it as liberation, as liberation, as liberation, as liberation.